We're always late. Welcome to Lagging Out. Um, we're one person short today. Unfortunately, Funny Guy is so famous that he actually is doing a commercial today. So I'll be hosting with my sidekick and totally awesome associate producer, Zombie Killer. So, oh yeah. Help say hello, Zombie. Hello, Zombie. There you go. <laughs> it used to be like our ending thing. A lot of stuff <laughs> to talk about today. Uh, but first, we have news, minus the funny guy part. Um, as you know, every week we always talk about Call of Duty, because that's pretty much all we play. But if funny guy's actually doing the beginning of the show, it's what, GTA Zombie? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, and there's a new download for, for GTA. Great. I don't know if any of our viewers even care about that. Because I would like to like to do some stuff on Skyrim and other games. Just something new. <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets kind of redundant. We got to do more research. We have a lot of MMO fans, so we have to do some of that, and we will get that to you, just not this show. Anyways, um, to get to the news, um, there's a new Call of Duty trailer out. Zombie, did you get to see it? Yeah, I did. What did you think? It's just like uh, all the other stuff. It looks great. Now, my complaints are not about the campaigns usually, so let me make that clear. You got um, My complaint is never about the campaigns, so let's get that straight. Right. Because um, I end up playing multiplayer more than I do the campaign. I'll play the campaign <laughs> a couple times. Um, it looked pretty cool, though, as usual. I thought that it was supposed to take place... Um, like further back, according to um, I was watching one of the uh, Blue Pipes things, and I thought that he had mentioned that it was going to be like way back in the day kind of thing, but it looked right. it was like modern. So um, it looked like it had a few features that are in the current one. Um, to me, it looks like they're trying to compete with Titanfall <laughs> with with some of the mechs that they have and stuff like that. Yeah. It's it's like wow, it's getting really futury and very. Um, I know that Draco was talking about it. It's very Halo esque. It looks like they're using the vultures again. Yeah. Um, and maybe like the target finder type things. That's what I saw. That seemed to be pretty consistent with what they have out right now. Right. And I agree with you. Like I'm a more of a multiplayer guy, too. And there there are a couple of demands I have from Activision. One, fix the damn spawns. Oh, God, they are so Two. horrible now. These they need to go back to how they were. Two, no new tubes. Three, get rid of sniper rifles. Four, add hardcore demolition and sabotage. I've been saying this for five years. There's a huge, huge hardcore community that just play hardcore game types. Regardless yep. of what they say, they need to do it. I, I love the games, don't get me wrong, but they need to do this. It's one of my demands. As yep. a Call of Duty fanboy, I absolutely demand they do that. Otherwise, I'm not buying the game. I'm just going to rent it. Darn it. They should add an option for team killing. If there's someone on your friends list and you accidentally shoot them three times, you shouldn't be put on probation. I'm not I'm not a drug dealer. I shouldn't be on probation. Oh, you mean if they if they do that stuff again? Because I know like right now it's what, Ricochet, which I'm fine with that, whatever. Right. It, it it's so infuriating. Now it's not going to make me any better of a player. I'm not going to go pro because of these, but it's no. But accidents do happen. I mean, it's not always intentional. Right. I I think, um, you know, with the story the, as far as the story mode, I know I'm going back and forth here. But with the story mode, there's actually they they actually hired Kevin Spacey, and I thought that was kind of cool. But I was thinking, it's like, wow, they're going to they're gonna make a billion dollars off this thing so they can afford Kevin Spacey. So I was thinking, instead of paying Kevin Spacey, I think they should fix the spawns. Uh, Showtime is near a deal to partner with Xbox Studios on a Halo series. This is from Variety.com. I'll kind of like summarize the whole 
thing here. Um, basically, they're they're in talks. They're in talks of doing a series for Showtime. Um, I don't know how close to the story they're willing to go, but it goes into it. It's, you just go to Variety.com. You can read the entire thing. I'm not going to pull a funny guy and read the entire article. You can read it for your sec. But I'll say Xbox aims to develop a Halo and other properties as high-end series productions is an effort to enhance the Xbox. Who wrote this? Don't they edit their own stuff? It sounds like a, a two-year-old read it. Anyway, an effort to examine the Xbox platform as an entertainment service for the base of 48 million subscribers to deal. With Showtime, is a long time to work out. Besides, they're basically deciding to see if they can do it or not now. How do you feel about that? Um, that'll be different than what they have out there. I'd probably check it out. I think that's one of, I think that's one of the first things that... One of the first games that is actually going to turn into a episodal type of thing on a premium cable channel. That's kind of interesting. That's a first. So it's interesting how they're going to do it. Is it going to be kind of like TV, CG quality? Who's going to play Cortana? I think Quicksilver should. <laughs> Definitely. Our associate producer um, who will be coming back in May because she's done with school, thank God, because we, we need another producer so that way I don't get any more gray hair. Um, but... I, I think it's actually a good idea. That's something I'd watch because I actually started playing Xbox for Halo. So um, I think I think it'll be a pretty cool series. I know there's been online series about it. Red vs. Blue is a parody, but they actually had um, a show already on that. Um, another another spinoff called the Halo Chronicles. Or it's another thing uh, we have to add to speaking of Halo. Guess who's celebrating 10 years of killing campers? Hmm. This guy. Ten oh, years yeah. ago this month, I started on Xbox Live. So Jeez. starting with the Halo series, I started with Halo 1 through 3. Actually, through 4. I actually played all 4. And then I can thank my brother for bringing me over to the Call of Duty part. Modern Warfare, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and Ghost. Mass prestige on all of them except for Ghost. Thank you. It's just a selfless plug for me. I'm awesome. So if you go from playing the 360, it feels like a tank in your hands, and then you go over to the Xbox One, and it's just, you don't have to push that hard on the toggle buttons, or so when oh, you nice. try to aim, you're like over-aiming, so oh, gotta I don't get used to that. it. I'll be like shooting over people's heads and stuff I was playing. They do feel nice, though. I have tro I think I feel like I have Parkinson's when I play now because my sensitivity <laughs> is so high. Like, my hands are shaking. I'm like, I'm trying to aim. They're like, oh my! God. They see that my kill cam. Like, what's taking you so long? It's like my sensitivity is up too high. It's easy to change it. All oh, geez. All like the pro gamers have their friggin' sensitivity up to twenty. I have mine at four. So it's just like, ah, please. Our reach is down to three percent thanks to Facebook reducing their reach. And I know we touched on this this week. Um, and last last show, rather, with uh, Go Blue and Blackout Facebook, that sort of thing. We're not getting a lot of reaches, but we thank all the new likes that we're getting. We appreciate it. But if you want to see our show, our edited show, I'll be posting it on the group page as well. It, again, it's facebook.com slash groups slash lagging out. That's L-A-G-G-I-N-O-U-T. And now, our sponsors. Funny guy? Oh, he's not here. My bad. They're Gamer Gloves. Go to GamerGloves.com and enter the coupon code LAGGINGOUT and save 15% on a pair of Gamer Gloves um, with the coupon code LAGGINGOUT. Get Gamer Gloves today. Cursed Underground Gaming. Want to join fun and competitive gaming community? Then you want to join Cursed Underground Gaming. If you're interested in freeform, structured, or even a pro branch, look no further. Like their page at Cursed Underground Gaming. And our final affiliate, Fierce Gaming Females. They, they support all gamers on all platforms. They love their fans and have fun with them on their page. Like their Facebook page at Fierce Gaming Females or their group page by the same name. Give them a like today. And uh, one other thing I forgot to mention last show is that uh, we have a new, new member of our team. Uh, he does movie reviews. And uh, he goes by the name of Griff Dog. So we want to give him a nice lagging out welcome to Griff Dog. He's the host of the show, um, the Lagging Out Network show called uh, the Griff Dog Vlog. He does movie reviews, and it's a must see in my opinion. 
He's hilarious, funny, and real. Check him out on his very own playlist on YouTube slash user slash lagging out. I think he's going to review Spider-Man 2, and he I think he just finished doing a review last week on um, Brick Mansions, and it's hilarious. He, he doesn't pull any punches, even though the, the star did pass away, unfortunately. It's really funny, and you got to watch it. Uh, definitely. Watch the Griff Dog. He's awesome. And now, what everyone's tuning in for, we have a special guest with us today. He was born in 1970. Wow. He's older than I am. In Las Vegas, Nevada, the creator of www.fuomposingit.com, Majesty, a grown has grown tired of the oppression of freedom of speech in social media. You and me mo both, brother. While working in construction, he began playing with mainstream social media sites as an outlet for his personal artwork. He witnessed a growing trend of oppression in social media and decided to embark on a crusade against it. This led to his year-long voyage in developing www.fuomposingit.com. Please welcome to Lagging Out in his first Ever, ever media appearance. <laughs> Welcome, the one, the only, Majesty. <laughs> Welcome, uh, sir. <laughs> that was a hell of an intro. Thank you very much. The honor is all mine. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all ours. It's all. <laughs> Truth be told. Truth be told. So, um, tell us, Majesty, what is fu on posting it dot com? Tell us about it a little bit. It is total posting freedom on the social media world stage. It's uh, me not slopping your hands for posting things that you'd get otherwise banned for or, you know, criticized for on other social media. Um, it's basically freedom of speech on the Internet is what it is. And so what, what kind of things are you talking about? Uh, can anybody actually view anything on your site? Well, the way it works is this, and, and it's been a complaint of mine for a long time, you know, on other social media that I have been a part of, is um, why can't we have programming that allows you to post and only the people that want to see or, or that are entertained by your post see that? And so what I've designed is a website that people that make joke pages, even on your personal profile page, is you're only going to see when you're a member of this website what you want to see. If you don't want to see offensive posts, you're not going to see it. You would have to like that page. You would have to like that person. Then you'll see it in your news feed. And I don't know why these other social media sites can't seem to do that, but that was that was my issue. So I'm creating a place for people to go and uh, basically be – an alter ego, if you will, just to you know, just to screw around and have fun and joke and laugh about things you wouldn't normally laugh about in the in today's society. Right. If you want, if you wanted to go blue with your page, you can actually do that. What you're saying is that your site would be ha have more freedom for these people to do that. So, say um, they post something about like a racy gamer girls or something like, you'll have like a button that says this is explicit 18 plus you will have to be 18 plus to see that you would have something to that effect so that way children are not exposed correct yeah well the site is an 18 plus website okay. as it is now you, um, if you're if you're under the age of 18 you're not supposed to be on the site and you know my argument for the longest time like I said was I understand it's a company and I understand their 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 reasoning they want you know they want to make money but you're built under the blanket of freedom in the United States, and how can you stomp on the First Amendment? I don't think anybody has the right to stand on the First Amendment. I don't care what your company is, and right. that's my fight. Right. And I'm 100 percent behind the the um, pages going blue. By the way, their campaign is a little bit different than mine. They are going after reach, you know, and and that's another valid argument. If if like when I had my pages on on those sites. I would want my fans to see what I posted, and I was doing it purely for fun. But now the reach has been taken away, and, and I don't think that's necessarily right. So Did you have a like a particular personal experience as to what made you start fu on posting it? Well, or actually, it my my first page on Facebook was fu on posting it, and um, it was like I didn't know anything about adminning a page. I, I didn't know anything about it. I was just getting complaints from friends and family about the stuff I was posting on my personal page. So I 
went and I made this page and I started generating a fan base and I realized how much fun it was. Now I was never in it for um, I was never in it to make money. I, I was just having a blast doing it. And as I would find and post things that are already found on the internet, you know, in in any of these search engines, I would start getting slapped on the wrist. You can't post that here, you know, or you're gonna get my first one was like a twenty four hour ban. And then it was like a a thirty day ban. And then they just started taking pages away and then they started taking away um, taking your accounts away. And I just couldn't understand why if we had the option to build our pages at eighteen plus, why they were taking it away from us, you know, because the complaint was, well, children can see this, and, and and I can understand that. I would never post something that would that would be seen by that as a child, and if the programming is set up to where you can set your page to 18 plus, then why isn't it only 18 plus? And, and and you know, these things started to bother me, so that's when I embarked on this journey to build a website. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to take or tell anybody to leave other social media sites. I just I'm offering another place to play, another place for you can be something you're not, an alter ego, like I was saying, and have fun and joke around and, and not have to worry about somebody taking your account away. Right. That, that, that can, like, that's, that's a really good – it gives another per person another outlet, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So um, how many people do you have roughly on your staff working for you? There's a lot of aspects to what I'm doing right now, so I would say a little over 20. Wow. People doing things. Yeah, there's a lot of promotion going on, um, you know, of course. Of course, there's a lot of design in the site and marketing, and you know, there's there's a lot to it, and I'm sure you know with your with uh, lagging out, um, th there's there's not much sleep anymore. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> uh, you are talking to the right one? <laughs> if it, if it wasn't for Zombie Killer this week, uh, I I would have pulled my hair out. We wouldn't be anything without our staff. That that's definitely that's definitely they are they are the heart and soul of what we're trying to do and once you get people to believe in what you do it makes it it's not a job anymore it's fun everyone likes to be part of it and if you want to join Majesty's uh, Facebook group page it's FU I'm posting it group page is that correct yeah I believe so yes oh my god and they have so many like talented people there they coming up with these funny ass memes they have like these hilarious like memes I'm like I'm laughing to myself because I'm like this this stuff is gold but Majesty your people I mean they're very loyal and protective of you I will say that much uh, they're, they're great people and um, you know um, everybody awesome. says everybody says that I'm awesome and, and and you know what it's not me it's them um, everything up to this point is them um, they they stood behind me they gave me the support and they pushed me through this, and, and this is all them. This, this isn't me. This this website is them. And um, the group is actually a uh, FUI posting is social media. But oh, okay. yeah, it's 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 this is them. You know, I don't I don't call them fans. They're my friends and, and they're right. my family. And so uh, it it's I owe it all of them, every bit of it. Right. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you play video games or not. Do you play video games? Um. Yeah, I play video games. I I. Uh, not really the Call of Duty or first-person type video game player. Um, it's been a while since I've I, I've I've played video games. Like I said, there's there's no sleep involved in what I'm doing anymore. It's uh, I hear you. It's, it's two jobs, and then I might get four hours to to help out with the website design, and, and then it's bed and up again and start all over. Yeah. Thank you. Someone who can relate to my issues. Yeah. Let me ask you this. I'm curious. Since you play games, um, what was the first game you ever played? The first game I ever played. Yeah. Uh, being being born in 1970, uh, Pong. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! I play. We had the system. I played Pong. I still have the original NES, and and when I pop it out and and, and play it, it's like uh, it's like being a kid again, I guess. But got yeah, a Super Mario Brothers. It's where it's at, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that, oh yeah. That was that was my favorite. When uh, one of my favorites, or Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt just turned 25. Duck Hunt was great. Oh, shut the front door, man. Okay, yeah. So I, I started playing that stuff when I was five, yeah. <laughs> oh, we try to if we remember. And actually, other shows actually stole this from us. I'm not going to mention those shows. But uh, they have, they actually steal a lot of our ideas. So I guess um, that's the greatest form of flattery if someone tries to repeat you. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, li we, we like to brag that we're probably the greatest show that you're not watching about the games. <laughs> so... Uh, um, if you were st all right, Majesty. Here, here you go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. If you were stuck on a deserted island with one console and or PC and one video game, what would they be, and why? 
Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> one console and one PC. So I get one of each or I just get one? You get just one. one. You get just one console, one game. Pick the console and the game. Uh, let's go with... Um, Let's go with the. Uh, I guess it was the PlayStation Three and and the second version of uh, um, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, <laughs> too bad our our host our other host is he's a big Grand Theft Auto guy. Well, that's what he gets for missing out. That's mm-hmm. right. He's, he's a busy guy though, you know. <laughs> but Grand Theft Auto, I can see because there's so many missions you can do. So, I mean. Uh, I I loved hiding and getting all the stars above the screen and trying to snipe them all out and get away with it. That was that was my favorite part. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> hey. Are you a female gamer? Do you love playing and talking about video games? Then Lagging Out wants you. Message us on our Facebook page and tell us why you would be a great fit on the show. Now, the only requirement is this. you got to be better, look, better looking than me and Funny Guy, which is not a high bar to go to. So... Um, that's all you really have to do. It's not to replace Zombie Killer. She's not going anywhere. It's just to have another host just in case something like this happens and we can't get Funny Guy here or I have to work somewhere doing OT doing something or Majesty asked me to do a personal pairing for his website. So one of those things is probably going to happen. So that's why we'll probably have a, a female host so that way. You know what? Quite frankly, it'd be good to have another female here. That way Zombie Killer's not outnumbered. You know, yes. so that way they can they can actually run the show. It's really good, really good thing to have. Awesome. Well, that and, and I'll go ahead and say it now. Um, Zombie Killer will be having a baby here and um, around you November. Are. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. So I'm I'm not sure how that will. Are you gonna work. do it on the show? Uh, hopefully not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, be that sounds meetings. like something I might be able to post on your website. Possibly. That would be awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, my people would be all over it. <laughs> oh, God. So I'm not sure how mommyhood will go at first, so I'm sure that the scheduling will be a little off. and um, So just a little extra help for all of us. If you want to buy Zombie Killer a maternity shirt that says little camper with an arrow pointing down, <laughs> she, she is all for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the middle name of the child, regardless of it female or male, it's going to be Chieftain. Is that correct? Only if it's a camper. I'm not a camper. <laughs> <laughs> he I gets so to, upset. The reason why I, the reason why I asked that is because if it wasn't for me, you two wouldn't have gotten together and had the kid. That's all I'm saying. I'm the Xbox matchmaker. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything at this point, because who the hell really knows? <laughs> the fifth. And if anybody's <laughs> wondering, I am not the father, just so like that rumor is completely dispelled. I am not the father. <laughs> I am not the father of Zombie Killer's baby. Maybe the parents can worry or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chief Jones clear. <laughs> that ship is passed. <laughs> one more thing we have to talk about is uh, the lagging out loot giveaway I haven't been d- promoting this as well as I should so how do you win well watch our show live and or watch watch for our trivia question that's going to pop up on our Facebook page right after the live show and um, you have to be the first person to answer the trivia question correctly Gets entered in our end of season lagging out loot giveaway. Brought to you by Game Insight, Narrate, and The Gamer Gloves. What's in the loot giveaway? Well, let me tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Get three autographed mini posters signed by the creator Neo. Not the guy from The Matrix, but another guy named Neo. Damn it. (laughs) Two iPad gel skins from Game Insight. Hardcover iPad case provided by Narrate. One Game Insight tote bag with water bottle, soda cozy, yo-yo, and mints. Yummy. Ooh. Two SD cards full-size, pull and peel decals, approximately five full pages of them. Three t-shirts. One narrate, three-quarter t, one long sleeve tank domination t-shirt. And if you don't, don't know what tank domination is, go to episode 206. There might be a trivia question for that later. And one autographed tank domination t-shirt by Top Gun's very own Michael Ironside. I want that. Guy. 
a pair of gamer gloves, of course, an Xbox Live card valued at forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> A Damn. South by Southwest autograph lanyard signed by Funny Guy and Chieftain. I that's the most that's the most valuable one there. Our autographs, holy crap! <laughs> and then um, an official lagging out button been on sale yet on our website. Plus much much more. Hey, do you think maybe we could get that pair of underwear that Blue Pipe was wearing in his last uh, last videos that I watched? You might want his panties, but I don't want his panties. <laughs> that was gross. Check out Blue Pipe, by the way. That's a free plug for him. He's hilarious. Question that I've had the last two shows. Apparently, nobody cares to answer answer it. And it was who was funny. Uh, who was Chieftain's favorite villain? Well, the answer was Catwoman. And then I was getting fights on Xbox Live and people saying that Catwoman wasn't a villain. She's an anti-hero. I'm like, really? You're gonna split hairs on this? No pun intended. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think it depends on what what movie, what episode of whatever she was in, on how you want to look at I'm it. I'm thinking so. Eartha Kitt, 1970s Batman, the TV show. There you go. Going. So Absolutely. that's where I'm, that was. That's what I was going by. Holly Berry was the hottest, though. That's my personal opinion. But, I like uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. She did a pretty good job too. Yeah, that's I kind of like Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer was good, but the movie. This show's trivia question is this. Who were our first guests or guests on Lagging Out? A, Zombie Killer. B, Pink, a.k.a. Pink Power Ranger. C, Lucky. Or D, All of the Above. I think that was a good one. That, that, that was actually come up by our very own Zombie Killer that actually came up with that trivia question. So good job, Zombie Killer. Thank you. Acon 25 in Dallas, Texas. May was it? It was June. June. I said I'm sorry, June fourth through the sixth. So um, just look it up online for details. Just want to thank all, my host Zombie Killer and our guest Majesty. Maj I'd like to thank you for watching Lagging Out. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Game over. Oh.